Hey everyone, this is Miko from the Permit Empire and I want to thank you so much for tuning into this video. I want to thank those of you who are recently liked, commented, shared, or even subscribed to my channel and I want to let you know that I really do appreciate it and I ask that if you haven't done any of those things so far that you go ahead and feel free to do so today. All right, so I just want to go ahead and get into today's topic. I want to talk a little bit about why would a contractor need your service as a permit runner. Now, I'm talking about this today because I believe that this question also holds people back from starting their permit running service. And I also believe that it not only holds you back, but when you do decide to go into it, it holds you back from charging the amount that you should be charging for your services. It causes you to discount your services, so to say. So I, like I said, I want to talk a little bit about this today, right? Now, here's the thing with a lot of contractors, a lot of subcontractors, um, the reason they need this service is because they are busy with the day to day business. They're already busy trying to acquire new clients. They're also trying to manage their staff. And when I say staff, a lot of times that is the laborers. That is the other contractors maybe that they have on their team. The help that they have who's actually going out to the projects or to the properties providing the service to the clients. A lot of times contractors are still overseeing that. And in many cases, it's them who are going out to the different properties to do the service that they've been contracted to do. So the time that they are sitting around processing paperwork, getting documents filed, getting documents uploaded to the building department, that same time, they could be using it to actually bring the income in. They could be using that time to do other things or other take care of other aspects of their business that will allow them to produce money for their business. This service, permit running, yes, a lot of cases, this is something that the contractor can do because I hear that a lot. Hey, if he can do it himself, hey, it's online, he can do it, it's simple, it's easy. Why would that contractor need me? Because of the time it's going to take him or her to have those documents processed. They would rather pass that off to someone else, have them do that so that they can work on the income producing activities in their business. See, for you as the permit runner, this is your income producing activities. But for a contractor, property manager, project manager, these are the things that may hinder them from getting to what they consider to be their income producing activities, such as performing the actual job duty itself. A lot of times they are actually out as the electrician. They're actually out handling wiring as the plumber. They're actually out handling the pipes and, and installing and all of that stuff. They're actually doing that. And that's where their money is actually coming from. A lot of times they are the ones who are meeting with the clients to go over the details of the project. They're trying to get everything sorted out. They're negotiating the numbers working on the contract dollar amount, the contractor, project manager, those are usually the people who they're, they're handling that. So if they can delegate a portion of that to someone else, such as the permit running part, right? If they can delegate that to someone else to handle that portion, because that part is not actually making them the money, right? They're not actually making what they consider money off of that. What they're making their money from is the actual service that they provide to their clients. That is how they're making money. So if they can delegate this portion off to someone else who can handle that, who can get that expedited for them, who can make sure that the documents are actually being processed. And guess what? If something goes wrong, there's someone who's actually monitoring that for them. If they can have someone on their team, because as their permit runner, you might not be their employee, but you are team members now. So if they can have someone on their team who's handling that, whose responsibility is to watch and make sure, hey, if there's some change that someone else is monitoring that for me, and that takes that off of their plate so they can continue to go out and provide the services that they are providing, right? A lot of times contractors, you know, they're really more focused on the service that they provide, rightfully so, right? They may not have all of the attention to detail when it comes to the paperwork or the administrative portion, but they will go out and do a fantastic job on a remodel, right? They're remodeling someone's home. They're redoing the kitchen. They're making sure the bathroom is beautiful. 
that is where their expertise lies in, not necessarily doing the paperwork. They may actually need some help filling out a permit application. That's not something that they might want to sit down and do because guess what? Now I booked this client. I got to get to the next one and get another client. I got to get this project going. I got already got to order all the material for this project. There are so many things on that contractor's plate that guess what? He will definitely or she will definitely give you this portion to handle and take off of their plate. So again, I get that a lot, and I believe that that is what's stopping people even from charging accordingly. A lot of times we get people who go in and kind of lowball, and you see that with any industry. You'll get someone who jumps in there new, and they'll lowball. They'll give us a, a low offer, and yeah, contractors will jump right on it. Yeah, sure, sure, I'll take it. But here you are shortchanging yourself because you don't even see the real need for your service. So you're not even getting paid the way you should be getting paid. So you might not even be seeing a profit the way you should be seeing a profit. And then you burn out because guess what? Now I have to take on more clients to make up for what I lack. And that is also another issue when it comes to us looking at, hey, the services that we provide, they're valuable. The contractor sees them as valuable. He may see them or she may see them as more valuable than you actually see them. So going into this situation, yes, a contractor would be glad to have you on their team handling this portion so that they can focus on something else and they will pay you to do so. So I hope this helps someone out today. And I want to go ahead and invite you. If you have any questions, you have any comments, definitely please feel free to leave them below in the comments section. And I look forward to chit-chatting with you later.